It's a uh, very sick man. He was a very demented person. Uh, we haven't seen that yet, but you will know very soon if we find something. We're looking very, very hard. I'm actually going over. And those words from the president after he visited some survivors of Sunday's mass shooting before he met with first responders. 13 Action News reporter Tom George spoke to some who met with the president. President Trump was only here in Las Vegas for a few hours, but during that time he managed to meet with victims and first responders who say it was important for him to spend time here in our city. On a cross-country flight, a president left to reflect. Nevada Senator Dean Heller says as they flew to Las Vegas this morning, Sunday's tragedy weighed heavily on Trump's mind. In the conversations that we had uh, on the plane, uh, he expressed and shared the same concerns and sentiment that we're hearing uh, across this country, across the nation. Like the rest of us, Heller says Trump was asking why. How something like this could happen, how someone basically, you know, off the radar screen could could take the time and effort that he went through to do what he did. He, he like everybody else, it's really hard to understand. But what was easy to understand, the resilience of our city on full display. First, victims and hospital workers at UMC. Then to Metro headquarters to meet with first responders. This is where it's great police here. Dozens, from fire crews to police, all on scene Sunday, getting a chance to talk with the commander in chief. He was very humble and he thanked us for being there and everything that we did and took some pictures with us. A president getting to cheer up those who needed it the most. It went from being, you know, one of the worst days of our lives to, you know, one of the best that, that the president come out here and he made an effort. And heroes' stories etched in their president's mind. Words cannot describe the bravery that the whole world witnessed on Sunday night. Tom George, 13 Action News.